Okay, so this week we vented about the celebutant, those famous only because they're rich people disdained by most for their lack of added value to the world. Now, I bet you think you know where I stand on this one, but the fact is, I've had a personal evolution when it comes to the celebutant. It's funny, because at one point, people like Paris Hilton got up my butt so much that I refused to talk about them. In fact, I used to refer to Paris only by the phonetic pronunciation of her initials, pe or f. And then one day I saw her, I mean like I actually saw her going to jail, being treated like crap in front of millions of viewers on David Letterman, doing that little McCain video. And all of a sudden I felt like the Grinch on Christmas morning. What the fuck? And it's not just that I agree with the sentiment that celebitants are people too. It's just as a feminist, you know, I mean, it just seems like more of the same crap that's heaped upon women every day. You know, she's so stupid. Oh, look at her, she's such a bimbo. Or, you know, if she didn't have money. And you could argue that the Spencer Pratt's and the Brody Jenner's of the world get the same crap heaped upon them. But my experience is if you ever ask anybody what the definition of celebutant is, the answer always involves the pronoun she or the noun bitch. And yes, I know they call each other bitch all the time, but I'm not going there because that would be blaming the victim and I'm not doing it. Having said that, I just realized that the reason there are no dudetants, if you will, is because those guys are virtually invisible unless they're on the arm of a celebutant. Did you get that? Holy oppression turning in on itself to empower a woman while simultaneously holding her down, Batman. Wow, I think you just witnessed another step in my evolution of understanding the celebutant. And all of that, was because I said so.